Do you guys ever feel like you just don't have enough Rubik's Cubes? Because I do. Wait, what is this? I got you, bro. The cubicle. What does that even mean? Oh, they airdropped some new cubes. Let's start with this one. So this is the $90 Moyu cube robot. Let's see what he can do. One button to solve the cube, one button to scramble the cube, and one button to activate looping. Ah, yes, looping. And of course there's a handle, so I can always bring the robot with me. Anyways, let's open this boy up. Oh no, we have some boxes here and a bunch of wasted space. There's one cube in the robot, but they also bring these kind of center caps that you can insert in other cubes. Please be English. Please be English. Oh no. <gasps> yes, I can read this. And the most exciting part, the cable. Wow. This is where you control the robot, but we first have to plug it in, obviously. So the cool thing about this robot is that it doesn't use a smart cube. This is just a normal cube inside of it. What you can see it do right now is scanning the colors to see what the scramble is like. That's what these flashing lights are. And once it is done with that, once the lights stop blinking, it actually solves the cube. And after a few twists, voila. I have no idea how to take this cube out of it. Let's do some Chinese reading. Oh, these handles go sideways. Ah, now you can take the cube out. Okay, this is a pretty trash cube. Yeah, that looks like a melon. Let's go to the second feature, which is scrambling the cube. It might sound ridiculous, but actually in competitions, it might be pretty useful to let a robot scramble the cubes. And then finally, it can also do looping. I was pretty excited for this, but basically it just scrambles and solves the cube like forever. Dumb robot thinking it's solving a Rubik's cube. Actually, what does the robot do if you give it an unsolvable scramble? Scrambling it up to make it more confusing. <laughs> Many unbearable hours later. Okay, you can't do it. Let me help it a bit by giving it another corner twist. Oh, uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Also, do you guys know this one? This is Gan's robot, but it only works with smart cues. But it seems like Moyo took some inspiration, hmm? But let's test some of these center caps with these new RS3Ms. And another new old RS3M. The RS3M is unique in that it is probably the most sold speed cube of all time. The reason being it's a great performer for just $9. Although this one is $17. And the reason for that is, let me show you, the standard one on the left, the new one on the right. And you can see that the new one is shiny. <laughs> This is known as UV coating and it should give the cube more grip. But aside from that, there isn't a difference between the original one. But let's test one thing with it. It's kind of dumb that these center caps aren't UV coated now. I'm going to give this cube the same scramble as my 5.8 day national record and see if the robot can beat it. It seems like the robot can do nothing right today. By the way, the RS3M got an upgrade to Super RS3M just a few months ago, but now we have version 5 because Moyu wants to release 100 cubes this year. And I have two versions of this cube, although I do not know the difference. What is this? I guess we're staying in robot theme today. Is the arm detachable? <gasps> nope. Okay, I forgot for a second that we're actually reviewing a cube today. I see shiny stuff. Nice. Nice. Wait, let's quickly check the other one out. Yo, bro, why are you missing an arm and a brain? <laughs> let's see if the robots can do a split. Yeah, I don't know what I expected there. Let's take a look at the inside of the brains. So the two cubes are identical. And as you can see from the ball inside, it does have core magnets, which helps align the cube better when you're turning. First turns. Okay, that feels really good for a $25 cube. It actually reminds me of another cube. Wait a second. This is the $43 WRM V9. 
That looks pretty similar, doesn't it? The only extra the Waylong has are these magnets in the edges. The V5 does feel very dry out of the box, so let's add some lube. Oh boy. Yeah, I definitely made it too fast. Perfect. Are you impressed by this? Yes. Okay, you can sit here. To show just how good the value of these RS3Ms are, I want to show you this cube. It comes with... No, I don't want to show you. Stupid case. Funny thing about this cube is that it has exactly the same features as the RS3M V5. Hold up. I don't often make mistakes, but I did here. The version 5 actually has maglev. This funny blue cube doesn't. It is a limited edition of the V9 we saw earlier, but they removed the edge magnets and the maglev. And they added an extra dollar? What the f***? Although, if you know the WRM V9, you know that it was way too fast out of the box. So in that case, removing these features does make it more controllable. And I like it. And also the baby blue internals make it probably the best looking cube out there. But if you compare the features of this $44 cube against the new version 5, you'll notice that this has more features, so shouldn't you just get that one? Yes, you should. I present to you guys the most innovative cube technology. Different cube sizes. Now I'm gonna make it easy for you guys and just unbox one. This is the spring version. Let's see what we have. Twist the juts. Juts? What's a juts? Can you guys see the juts? So this is a hand adjustable dual adjustment system. Yeah, that does the job. <laughs> I should probably mention this is a new Guhong Pro and being just $20 for the Magla versions, these supposed to be insane value. So there's maglev, there's spring, and there's three sizes. How do we know which one is which? I should have probably checked that before opening. <laughs> Wait, this is a ball core? Ball core and maglev for $20? Damn. Alright, let's take a look. This seems to be the maglev, but I cannot tell 100%. There's the spring. Yes. Bruh, how am I gonna test these sizes, though? Long story short, I prefer the maglev in the largest size. That's what she said. But guys, we gotta do one more thing. That doesn't fit. Let's try the larger size. Oh, it sticks out, but it might work. Are you ready to get bamboozled, robot? We cannot turn the cube. That might be a problem. I might know a solution. That fits. Oh, nice. Now we just lock these arms in place and voila, it's it's really tight though. Let's give it a test ride. That is normal, I think. And here we go, guys. Look at this. I bamboozled the Moyu robot. Even Jeff is impressed. He's like, what? Can you believe this? You can find all the products in the description and please use discount code CUBED for a huge discount on thecubicle.com. Ciao, guys.